Hi guys, my name is Shada Campbell and today we're going to do some hand lettering and illustration as we create this Valentine's Day greeting card featuring Gordon the Scorpion. After all, he does have the heart of a lion, that Gordon. All right, I am starting our little project today with a package of blank greeting cards. You can get these at the dollar store. It's maybe six cards and envelopes, all of them blank so that you can make your own greeting card like a Valentine. I'll turn mine to the side and then I'm gonna take a gray marker and I am going to mark out a border just inside. You could also do this in pencil. Then I am going to make this pretty scalloped edge all around our Valentine. It's very silly and whimsical and perfectly imperfect. Doesn't need to be exactly right. And then behind the scalloped edge, I'm going to color it in with this warm gray. And that's just gonna make our Valentine look like it's got this really pretty frilly edge and it's just sort of a silly illustrative detail. Now we'll talk about how to illustrate Gordon. So you want to start with an oval and then he's got a little tail in behind that oval. So big oval, little tail. Then his stinger is actually going to be a heart, of course. And um, we're gonna put a few lines on his body there. And then he's got these big eyes, and big eyelids. So we've got these almost squarish eyelids and then two round eyes touching. And then of course we're doing those big pupils in the center of his eye. And you always wanna leave a little highlight on the pupil. That's what brings the eye to life. He's got two funny little teeth in the front and in behind Gordon I'm going to put a strawberry because of course he lives in the strawberry patch and we'll even make the seeds on the strawberry little heart shapes. <laughs> All right if you missed any of that we're going to go over it in pen so the heart shaped stinger those big rectangular but somewhat bulbous eyebrows two eyes both touching with the pupils right in the middle, leave a little highlight on the pupil. A big mouth is really just a long line, two little buck teeth, and you can maybe add some shading under the eyelids there. He's looking quite cute, so we're gonna move on and do some hand lettering, writing Be Mine in a modern calligraphy style. So I am going to use my best cursive and write out Be Mine in pencil. I'll put a little exclamation point there. And then I am going to come back in and thicken each downstroke. That means anywhere the pen is pulling towards me, I thicken that part of the letter and the rest of the letter just stays thin and pretty. Now with that done, you can simply color that in with a pen or you can practice your brush lettering and with a brush pen, the idea is to add more pressure as you pull the pen towards your body. So you get those thicker down strokes and then you add less pressure for the lighter up strokes. Okay, once that's done, I am moving on and I am going to color in our little friend here and I am making his face um, using that warm gray. So I wanna pull that same color in and do his stinger and his face, that, that gray color. And then I'm going to use a nice bright red for the rest of his body there. Cute little Gordon, it's always that bright red color, makes him perfect for Valentine's Day. And then I'm using a bright dark pink to color in the strawberry, a lighter color for the seeds, and of course some green for the strawberry leaves. And then if you wanna go way extra, you can add a little gray shading to his eyelids, and if you're super extra, you can add some dark red to his belly for shading. Okay, and then I did a nice light pink to color in the back area on the card, a little dark pink in the corners. This is totally optional. You could leave that part white. And then the piece de resistance is adding this black graphic line to the scalloped edge and to the inside of the Valentine's Day card. It just makes the whole thing pop, really finishes the piece off, and you've got this wonderful Valentine's Day card with our best fiend, Gordon, from the Strawberry Patch. Well guys, thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this little hand lettering and illustration tutorial. Be sure to comment below and let me know which fiend you think would be best for a Valentine's Day card.